On behalf of the chair, Senator Moran. Mr. Chairman, thank you. Uh, Chairman Powell, uh, thank you for your presence here today. Uh, let me start just by uh, making certain that I tell you something that I think I need to say on behalf of Kansans. I've never seen the level of anxiety, uncertainty, concern for the future as I see today when I have conversations with folks uh, in my neighborhood and across Kansas. There's a sense that something's not right. Inflation is a significant component of that feeling. And the inability to know what's around the corner is terribly damaging to folks, both financially, but also mentally or psycholo uh, psychologically. There's a real circumstance out there that I want you as the chairman and your colleagues to know uh, exists. Uh, it is, I think uncertainty and, and what the future holds is one of the most damaging things when people try to figure out uh, their lives and how comfortable they are. I also want to highlight a, a particular Kansas, but middle America across the country issue of agriculture. Um, I was on a farm uh, on Saturday, uh, participating in, observing harvest of wheat. We live in a world in which people are starving and more are going to starve um, if we are unable to, uh, if we fail to get more grain into markets from Ukraine and from Russia, but from the United States as well. Uh, agriculture farming is a noble calling and it has a lot to do with being able to feed people who are now desperate. Uh, part of the concern in regard to agriculture is a is that interest rates have a significant consequence to the profitability, to the survivability of, uh, of producers. Uh, and um, profit margins get squeezed if uh, interest rates continue to climb. climb. We face uh, declining or, or lower land values. That creates greater access to credit challenges. Tell me how you see uh, one, how, how I can assure my Kansans that, and Americans that things are going to be better. And two, how can I assure farmers and ranchers that their future will be brighter based upon the activities of the Federal Reserve? So I, I take the, um, the sort of very low confidence readings that we're reading about and, and your comments about Kansas citizens as being pretty directly related to high inflation. And I think people haven't seen it. You know, mo most people, you and I are old enough to remember what it was like. And it's, uh, you know, it's, it's something that uh, it, it just really does uh, destroy public confidence in, in the economy and that kind of thing. So we need to get uh, inflation back down to 2%. And all I can say is we're, you know, we're using our tools to do that. And it, uh, the public should believe that we will get inflation back down to 2% over time. Again, there are factors that we don't control, but those factors do tend to wash out over time. Things like commodity prices don't tend to just keep going up. They may remain high, but they essentially they're quite volatile over time. That's what the record shows. So I, we, there, we will, we're doing what we can to get inflation down, the parts that we can address. So I, I, for whatever that's worth, that's, that's what we can do and what we will do. In terms of the agricultural patch, um, as you know, we have, uh, uh, including your Kansas uh, City Fed president, we have some terrific people who are Reserve Bank presidents who give us a good sense of what's going on in the agricultural sector uh, on an ongoing basis. And it's obviously a very, very difficult time with fertilizer prices and difficulty in getting all kinds of inputs. And um, it's just a very challenging time in, in the agricultural world. We do understand that. Um, our part of it is to, is to do what we can to get inflation back under control. I know higher interest rates are painful, but that's the tool we have to moderate demand and get uh, demand and supply back into balance so that inflation can come down. Mr. Chairman, in a conversation you and I had <clears throat> on the phone, you indicated that, it, as you did today, there are certain aspects of inflation that you have little control over. One of them, I think you mentioned, was energy. Uh, let me be reassured, if you would, that there are no that, that there will not be uh, actions by the Federal Reserve to make lending to fossil fuel producers a component of the policies of the Federal Reserve. Uh, when you say you have little to do with it, you could cause great damage if you decide uh, to go down a path that was at least contemplated by a number of 
nominees for the Federal Reserve Board, and I would love to be reassured that's not a component that we would that you would pursue, and that we would not see resulting increasing a cost of fuel as a result of federal policy, yeah. federal reserve policy. In my view, and I think the view of what well, I th my view certainly is that it's not our job to allocate credit to or against or away from any particular sector of the economy. That's a job for elected officials or for markets, if, uh, but it's, it's not a job for, for the Federal Reserve, which has a mandate to, you know, pursue maximum employment, price stability, a well-regulated banking system, and a, you know, and a sound payment system. Mr. Chairman, thank you. Um, I have